In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the molar mass of a gas. So let's start with this problem. 7.723 grams of a gas occupies a volume of 2.4 liters at a temperature of 27 at a pressure of 1.8 atm. What is the molar mass of the gas? Let's start with this equation. PV is equal to nRT. Now n, the number of moles, is equivalent to the mass divided by the molar mass. And you can prove it based on the units. The mass is in grams, the molar mass is in grams per mole. Grams is the same as g over 1. You can write it this way if you want. And then we're going to divide it by grams over moles. So you can rewrite this as g over 1 divided by g over moles. Perhaps you heard of the expression keep change flip. Keep the first fraction the same. Change division to multiplication. And flip the second fraction. So notice that the unit grams cancel, giving you moles. So mass divided by the molar mass is equal to the moles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace n with the mass divided by the molar mass. Let's use capital M to represent the molar mass. So we're going to have PV is equal to M mass divided by capital M, the molar mass, times RT. Next, I'm going to multiply both sides by the molar mass. So on the right side, M will cancel. So I have pressure times the volume times the molar mass is equal to MRT. You could put MW for molecular weight if you want to, to distinguish it from molarity. But however you want to write this, just know that in this equation, it represents the molar mass. Now to isolate the molar mass, we got to divide both sides by PV. So the molar mass is equal to MRT divided by PV. So now we can answer part A. So let's plug in what we have. So we have the mass in grams, which is 7.723. We have the R value, which we know to be 0 0.08206, and the units are liters times ATM divided by moles times Kelvin. And then we have the temperature. It's 27 Celsius, but we'll need to convert that to Kelvin. So 27 plus 273 is 300 Kelvin. And then we're going to divide it by the pressure which is 1.8 ATM multiplied by the volume, which is 2.4 liters. So notice that the unit liters uh, cancel. The unit ATM cancels. And also the Kelvin unit cancels, leaving behind grams per mole, which is the unit for molar mass. Now, let's plug in the numbers that we have. So it's 7.723 times 0 0.08206 times 300, which is about 190.12. And then take that result, divide it by 180, and then divide that by 2.4. So you should get a molar mass that's equal to 44.01 grams per mole. So that's the answer to part A. Now let's move on to part B. Which of the following could be the identity of the gas? Could it be A, B, C, D, or E? What we need to do is calculate the molar mass of each gas listed below, and then see which one matches the 44.01. So starting with N2, nitrogen has an atomic mass of 14.01. If you multiply by 2, the molar mass of N2 becomes 28.02. Helium is about 4 grams per mole. 
argon, if you look at, at the periodic table, is like 39.95, so we're going to say about 40. F2 is 19 times 2, that's 38. But CO2, that's carbon plus 2 oxygen atoms, that's 12.01 plus 2 times 16, which is 12.01 plus 32. This one has a molar mass of 44.01. So based on the options listed, the identity of the gas has to be carbon dioxide. Let's move on to number two. The density of a gas at 25 Celsius at a pressure of 2.31 atm is 3.023 grams per liter. Calculate the molar mass of this gas. Now based on the first problem, we said that the molar mass is equal to mRT divided by PV. Now we know that the density is mass divided by volume. So therefore, we could replace m over v with d, because d equals m over v. So we could say that the molar mass of a gas is the density times r times the temperature divided by the pressure. So now, all we need to do is plug in the information that we have. The density is 3.023 grams per liter. R is 0 0.08206 liters times ATM divided by moles times Kelvin. The pressure is 2.31 ATM. And let me just get rid of this. And I need to put the temperature on top, which is 25 Celsius, but adding 273 to it, it becomes 298 Kelvin. So this will give us the molar mass. So the unit Kelvins cancel. The unit liters cancel as well. And ATM. So we have grams per mole which are the units for the molar mass of a gas. So it's going to be 298 times 3.023 times 0 0.08206 divided by 2.31. And so the answer is 32.002 grams per mole. Number three. The density of a gas is 1.785 grams per liter at SDP. Which of the following could be the identity of the gas? As in the case of problem one, in order to identify the gas, we need to calculate its molar mass. So there's two ways in which we can do it. First, we're going to use the equation DRT over P. So we know the density is 1.785. R is 0 0.08206, and at STP, what's the temperature? The temperature at STP is 0 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 273 Kelvin, and the pressure is 1 atm. So it's 1.785 times 0 0.08206 times 273. So the molar mass is 39.99 grams per mole, so approximately 40. Now the other way in which to get the same answer is to convert it. Keep in mind that at STP, one mole of gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. So, starting with 1.7 85 grams per liter, we could then multiply it by 22.4 liters per mole. And notice how the unit liters cancel. And we're left with grams per mole, which is the unit for the molar mass of a gas. So it's simply 1.785 times 22.4, and this gives you about 40 grams per mole. So the second method is a lot easier than the first. So now, let's identify which gas 
has a molar mass of 40. Neon is about 20. O2 is 16 times 2, which is 32. Carbon monoxide, that's 12 plus 16, that's 28. Methane is going to be 12 plus 4, which is 16. And argon is 40. So E is the right answer.